Hello, my name is Joel Lababa. I'm the Franchise King. Today, I'm going to talk about franchise review websites. Those websites you go to when you're doing research and you stumble upon something that talks about franchisees and their own reviews of the franchise they purchased. All right, so I'm gonna talk about that in a moment. First, I wanted to tell you, make sure you click the red button below to subscribe to all the latest videos that I post and click the bell if you want to get notified immediately when I post a YouTube video like the one you are watching now. Anyway, as I said, I'm the Franchise King Joel Ababa. First of all, I want to tell you this. When, when people are looking for franchise opportunities and they're getting to the point where they want to do research, a Google search sometimes brings up franchise review websites, business reviews from franchise owners about their experience as a franchise owner. Now, I need to tell you that a lot of really good franchisors, including some that I know, are listed on some of these franchise review websites. So this is nothing against them. What this is about is about disclosure. And you, as a prospective franchise owner, need to know that franchise reviews may be paid reviews, but it's really hard to find out if it's true or not. I encourage any website that has franchise reviews to put a disclosure in stating if money changes hands. Because if you'll notice a lot of the franchise review websites, there's no advertising except from franchisors that interestingly enough have reviews. So what I think happens is if a franchisor approaches these franchise websites and say, hey, I want to be listed and I want, you know, I want my franchisees to put reviews on. Uh, the franchisees are contacted, uh, they're called or emailed, and, and if the reviews are real good, then, you know, they go up on the website, no problem. But if they're not that good, I have a feeling that the franchise review websites charge consulting fees to help those reviews get better, to help the franchisees give better reviews. And, you know, they may be helping the franchisors also as a company um, improve things so franchisees are happier. But my whole point is this. If you go to a franchise review website and read reviews, I have a funny feeling that the, that the reviews are paid for the most part, except they're not disclosed. Franchisors are paying for these reviews through consulting arrangements they have with some of these franchise review websites. Now, you know, this is more of a franchise industry thing but if you're someone who's about to plunk down two or three hundred thousand dollars on a franchise and you want real information as you're doing your research i don't think it's fair to you to go to a franchise review website read really awesome reviews and then only find out after the fact that they're actually paid reviews so when you do your franchise research be careful all right consider the source consider the source and if you want to learn how to research franchises the right way, go to thefranchiseking.com and towards the top you will see one of the navigation links that says research. Click the link and you will see the definitive guide to franchise research. It includes tons, I'm talking dozens of questions to ask franchisees and dozens of questions to ask franchisors concerning the franchise opportunity you are looking at. And it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. Check it out, thefranchiseking.com. I'll also put the link to the ebook uh, below. Anyway, the bottom line, be careful as you do your research. Consider the source because things aren't always as they seem. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Ababa. Thanks for watching. And as I said, remember, things aren't always as they seem, right?